Welcome to the Scratch Dance Party. Um, today we're going to write a pretty simple program that uh, allows you to do that. And it's pretty cool because you use the same program for each sprite. So it's a short program. You toss it into four different sprites and all of a sudden you got yourself a dance party. All right. So to begin the dance party, you're going to want to start a new program. So right here I'm going to click on Create. And it's going to allow me to create a new project. Okay, so what we saw in that dance party were animated sprites. Um, and basically, to make a sprite animated, you make it uh, run a bunch of costumes in a row. And when it plays those costumes in a row, it, it looks like movement. It's a lot like the stop motion, where we took lots of pictures and made small movements and then ran them together really fast. Um, and it made it look like it was moving. That's the same thing here. Um, so basically, if we look at this cat and I go into its costumes, we see that it has two costumes. One where the legs are apart and one where they're a little bit closer together. And if we play those two, I'll just keep on clicking on them here, we kind of get an animated feel. All right. If I look at other sprites, let's say, uh, like if I hover over here on the ballerina, this is great, she's awesome. If I hover over here on the ballerina, we see all of her costumes that are in that sprite. So a sprite is actually a collection of costumes, or it can be just one costume. But sprites and costumes are really easy to get confused because they both look like something. But just remember, a sprite is all the costumes together, and a costume is just one picture. So anyways, let's choose this ballerina. And if I go up here to her costume, we notice down here I have her clicked, so I know I'm selecting her. I go to her costume, and we can see she has these different costumes. And when I kind of click them in order, it looks like she's jumping, which is pretty cool. So let's make her jump. All right, so let's get back to her code. And I'm actually going to take my cat here, and I'm going to take him right on out. So I got my ballerina, and now we're going to make her dance. All right, just like everything else that we've written in class, we're going to start when a green flag is clicked. Then we're going to grab some things out of control here. I'm going to grab a forever. I'm going to grab a if then. I'm going to grab a wait. That's going to go near the end. And now I'm going to grab a looks. We haven't used looks yet, so it's going to be a little bit different. Um, and we are going to, well, actually, we did use looks for the talking, but now we're going to use it for switching costumes. And there's a couple different costume ones, and you want the one that says next costume. And I think we have just one more piece to grab, which is in the sensing over here. I'm going to go when space key is pressed. All right, so I have all my parts now, and I'm going to combine them together. So the easiest way to start doing that is to put this one in here, to put this down here, and to put these two together. Then I'm going to take these two, put them inside of that, and then I'm going to take these two and put them inside of that. So let's look at this program. It says when the green flag is clicked forever, if the space key is pressed, go to the next costume and then wait one second. Let's try it out. All right, I'm holding down the space key right now and that's what it's doing. So what are you noticing? Yeah, it's really, really, really slow. So we need to speed that up. But it's, and their speed is right here. It's this wait one second. It's waiting one second between each move. If we make it wait a shorter amount of time, it should start moving faster. Now, what is shorter than one second? 
where there's half a second, milliseconds. Um, and what we're going to do is just use a decimal. And we're going to put a decimal in front of the one. And we're going to have it wait, wait 0.1 seconds. Later on, once you sort of have a bunch of these sprites written, you can start playing with their wait times. And you can start getting them dancing in different rhythms. Um, it's kind of cool. Anyway, so this you want to make sure that it is 0.1 seconds. That is different than one second. You're going to put a decimal or a point in front of that one. Now, let's press the space bar. Totally moving a lot faster. Awesome. Okay. And that is literally the code you have to write. It is that short. It is awesome. Um, so, you want more people in this dance party. So, we're going to have Ballerina Girl. And I'm going to choose another sprite. And this time I will, these are all so good. Um, he's only got two moves there, right? I want more moves than that. How about this guy? Oh, yeah, he's got moves. All right. So we got, uh, looks like they're calling him D-Money. And uh, right now, if I press space bar, only our, the girl works. So what I want to do is give him her code. I want to copy her code. So I'm going to go to her. I'm going to grab that code. And I'm going to drag it until it's over top of him. Now if I click on him, he's got it. Great. So it's a way to kind of share code. So now they both have this code. So watch what happens when I press spacebar now. They're both dancing. And it's kind of cool is when you just tap it, they just do one move. So you can kind of control the speed. But up, 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 but up. Anyways, I digress. Um, okay, so let's add one more sprite. And I happen to know... <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. I happen to know that this one dinosaur that I used in my last one is actually really kind of fun to look at. All right, so if I look here, check out how many costumes this dinosaur has. He's got eight. And when we watch him dance, you'll see it. His movements are really smooth. They're not so jerky. So I think I'm kind of learning that the more costumes you have, the smoother your sprite ends up being. Um, anyways, let's grab that code and give it to the dinosaur. Here you go, dinosaur. Here's some code. All right, let's hit play. And now... We got it. All right, last thing. You probably want them dancing somewhere better than a white screen. So you're going to go to Backdrops, and you will just click on this little thing right here, and you can choose where you want them to be dancing. I think, ooh, we got a concert here. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to be dancing at the concert. Uh, we'll make that two last things. So he's really big on this stage right now. It's kind of goofy looking, isn't it? So remember, you can adjust the size by going right down here. And uh, let's go with 50. And return. Oh, yeah, that's much better. He's about the same size as her. And then we'll have our, uh, our dinosaur here in the middle up front because he's got the best moves. All right, so that is the skill and dance party. Um, I'm hoping that you all enjoyed it. And uh, there will be, I'm going to show you in future kind of times what, uh, how to kind of make a moving sprite that, that walks and goes across the screen. But right now, this is kind of our first look at animation. And we get to create a scratch dance party. So I hope you all enjoyed it. And good luck making your dance party. Over around the world.